half an hour. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I see um, we've got too many hosts on here tonight. Mm. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Tonight is a it's a big night for for a lot of us. We've got a lot of special guests, and we've got our favorite people in the room. So um, this is just great having everybody mm. on board. Um, welcome. It's really it's always so nice to see everybody's faces and just to know that you guys are here. So um, tonight, as most of you will know, it's Franco and Lee's launch of the new business. We are extremely excited. Franco and Lee, we are so happy to have you guys part of the Oryx team. It's, uh, you know, I love walking this journey with you guys. Um, I love talking to you and spending time with you. And I know that you guys are going to rock this business. I can already see it. You guys are, you know, you are definitely coachable and you're hungry. And I can see, yep, you go, Franco. I can see that you guys are going to go all the way. So um, I'm not going to talk too much. We're going to first hand over, I'm going to hand over to our very first greatest lady ever that um that we love dearly one of our own that's um no, not in south africa anymore but it's actually moved to colorado springs um we talk to her every day we love her dearly um and she's definitely a giver of hope to everybody in south africa erica we love you so much thank you for the great opportunity that you brought to south africa um you know if it wasn't for you none of us would have been here We've met the most incredible people. And you know what? That's all because of you. Because you and Mel were obedient. You know, you listened, you got the message five years ago and you were obedient and you did what the Lord told you to do. So we are so fortunate to have you on the Zoom tonight, Erica. Um, we would love for you to share your story with the people that haven't heard it. Thank you, oh, Erica. Hey, Dee, thank you for such a beautiful introduction. You know, when we have these Zooms and we introduce each other, I always feel like, are they talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> but thank you for that. I, words mean a lot of me, and so I take that to heart. I appreciate that. You guys, what an awesome Zoom. A huge shout out to Lee and Franco today. Can we give them a round of applause? Put Yay! some hand claps, emojis mm -hmm. on your screen. We are excited and happy for you guys. Um, this truly is sometimes a step in faith to start the new. Um, but in my life, and I'm 46 now, I can tell you some of the best things I've done has been acts of faith. Um, so good luck with your business venture. We are excited for you guys and we are committed to help you succeed. So Adri, you asked me to share my story, my two minute story. And I told Tammy a few minutes ago, which part of my complicated story <laughs> should I share? But I want to take you back, you guys, to um, when I was a little girl, when I was about eight or nine years old. And I want you to know I was born in Durban. I was born in a convent in Pinetown. Do not let that fool you. <laughs> but I was born in a convent. And um, we grew up in Durban, spent a lot of days, beautiful days. We had family there, but then we moved. My dad got a huge promotion and they moved him to Kroenstadt. Now, Kroenstadt is an Istof man, so this is Freistar. So there I was, this English speaking little girl in Freistadt. It was tough, but you know what? It was there that I really started. Something happened within me. And when I was nine, years old, I'd say about eight, nine years old, I started dreaming about the world. And I don't know how that started. My parents have not even traveled out of, out of South Africa. So we didn't grow up in a household with an international mindset. But I started dreaming about different nations. And my parents actually bought me an encyclopedia and in it, it had traditional clothing on all the different cultures, information on the origin of different countries, where it started, how it started. And that just fueled something in me. And I always joke, I say where people, where little girls dream, dreamt about getting married and their dresses. I dreamed about having tea with Ronald Reagan and the, why not and the <laughs> Queen. I just I I don't know. I dreamed about having breakfast in Paris, lunch in London, nice. and dinner. I just had this thing going, and 
um, they just gave me a love for people who are different than I am, right? And when you grow up in Africa, South Africa, where we have 11 official languages, you wear multicultural lenses all the time. And we immigrated to the US three years ago. Um, Melton had an awesome opportunity that was presented to him. And as a family, we decided to take that. But I want you to know something. Africa burns inside of me passionately. So it's the kachelki after Franco, that little fire pit behind Franco. Africa is in my background. It's part of why I'm here. And I knew coming to the US that there was going to be a link for me personally between the USA and Africa. And I knew it had something to do with dollars that I knew. It's not brain surgery, right? America is, has a strong currency. So when um, Tammy, when I met this awesome friend of mine, she was involved with a company called Limu and Limu was based in America. And she will tell you, I drank the product, but I was not interested in a business because you guys, it wasn't international. And that is something that is just of value to me is my people in Africa. But when Oryx bought Limu, and Oryx was at that point in 72 countries. I started looking and listening. I jumped on the Zooms with the owners. We started investigating this together. I told Tam, I'm not doing it without you. This is Africa. <laughs> if you know Africa, guys, I wanna bless you with this. I have so much respect for all the entrepreneurs in Africa. Yeah. You guys, you work against political and economical odds. I want to tell you it's easy in the USA. We have opportunities here that you guys do not have in Africa. You just don't. And I have respect for that because I've lived it, you guys. I have lived it. I have cried. I have lost. I have suffered in Africa on various levels. And I've only realized how difficult it is to do business in Africa. So I told Tammy, you're coming with me. I'm not doing this alone. And we had Brent Palmer and we said the same thing to Brent Palmer as well. So you guys, in saying all of this, I want you to know one thing about me. I am committed to my team. Yes. I will fight for you. If it's legal, I will most probably do it for you. <laughs> Don't ask me to do something illegally because I will not. But if it's legal, I will do whatever is in my power to do to help you succeed. I will not do it for you, but I will help you. And so will Tammy, because I know what it's like. I've lived it. I have respect for all of you. And I'm committed to building this bridge of business worldwide so that you in Africa can run a business in Italy if you want to or like Joni and Rion in Russia if you want to. I want you to have the opportunity to build an international business for yourself that is not dependent on politics or economics of a specific region. And you guys, this is an amazing company. <clears throat> I'm sold out to my leadership, my mentors. I'm sold out to what they are planning for Africa. It carries my blessing and my excitement and my passion. And 2021 will be your year of breakthrough. It will be your year of breakthrough. If you are on the Zoom, I invite you reach out to me on WhatsApp and I will share with you anything that you ask me to share. But this year, you guys, Lindy Langman says it, Ki na ko. it is time for Africa. Join us. Join us as we spearhead this movement, this revolution, I almost want to say. But join us as we bring this vehicle of financial provision and community to Africa. Hey, Dri, I can talk for hours, but it's not my business launch. I'm here to support what you guys are doing today. 
Love all of you dearly. Thank you to all the leaders for all of your hard work. Within the next two months, you guys are going to see some amazing things. And um, Tammy and I are trying very hard to behave and contain our excitement. <laughs> so be blessed. <laughs> Erika, thank you so much. It's always uh, such a privilege to listen to you, to listen to your story, where you've come from, you know, what you've dreamt about and making it a reality today. And thank you. Thank you to you. Um, oh, Tammy, you know, we love you too. Um, but thank you. I think, you know, you guys together is just the most amazing team and we love, love working with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> And now, with further, without further ado, Franco Leroux, I'd love to introduce him, the man of the hour or the man of the day. Um, Franco is an absolute energetic guy, amazing, amazing guy. And I know he's going to be one of the leaders that everybody is going to know. Franco is, you know, he can't wait to take his business to the next level. Um, and he is so committed. He's hungry, a hunger that I have never seen before. I thought that I was hungry until I met Franco. Um, so, you know, looking forward to the road, we're going to be walking together, Franco. So um, tell us why you chose Rx, why you chose to become part of this incredible, incredible business. Thank you, Hadri, and thank you, everybody, for joining. Um, unfortunately, um, Lee and I can't share the same Zoom room. Um, her grandpa passed away the past weekend, and she is in Mossel Bay at the moment with her family. So let me start at the beginning. Uh, Lee and I started dating about five years ago, and uh, early in our relationship, we were faced with very difficult life decisions. Um, situations didn't plan out like we did, and then Lee lost her job, and I was facing retrenchment. After being a highly qualified electrical engineer and working for a company over nine years, we had to make a plan, and also very quickly. We became very career-driven. We focused on set, setting ourselves up for the future. We had big dreams and were determined to reach them. So we registered a business. Lee was running it for us while I seek full-time employment. Since then, we built four businesses from scratch. One of which, one of which was a, a property investment business. We had to ed educate ourselves from almost knowing nothing. Uh, we went on training. We attended seminars, network events. Uh, we spent over 100,000K on education. It, it was hard work and, uh, and, and there was loads of sacrifices that we had to make, but we managed to make a success out of it. Property, property investment requires a big, a large amount of capital and it comes with a big risk. This is not the only sacrifices we had to make. Uh, we made plenty more during uh, doing jobs that is frowned upon in silly times of the evening just to make ends meet and uh, live a decent life. So when Oryx came across our path, Lee saw the opportunity and she jumped at it straight away. Obviously me, on the other hand, I took a while to warm up to the idea and, and I had to analyze it first, but eventually I also saw the possibility. This business is new in the country. It is in pre-launch stage. Um, this means if you get it now, there are tons of potential to unlock. What I like about the business is it's a home-based business. You can run it off your phone, working in the comfort of your own home with little exposure to the pandemic. Uh, amazing products at high quality. It's an international business over and it's running in over 80 countries. So if you decide to immigrate, you can take your business with you. Um, it's, it is a, another stream of income and it pays in dollars. <laughs> you can work when it suits you. <laughs> it, it only requires a low startup cost, capital or almost no, with an, almost no overheads. Um, there is no income ceiling and it's a residual income for life. So it's actually a no brainer for me. <laughs> you can be your own boss and build your business and do it the way that you want to. With the bill of rights that the company has, the business belongs to you. Nobody can take it away from you. 
you can sell the business if you want it, or you can transfer it to your kids or into a trust. So yeah, that is why I decided to join it. And uh, it's fresh, it's new, it's exciting. We have an amazing team behind us. We are all energetic, positive, driven people, business owners, people that are seeking for more and hungry to make a success out of South African lifestyle. And we are dedicated to help everyone else that is close to us and want to share this journey with you. So I would like to give it over to Lee now, um, just a little bit on uh, a little bit more about Lee. She is a super caring human being that carries everybody's feelings on her shoulders. She's a great friend, a good listener. Um, but that, that's not only that. She is a qualified nutritionist and a health coach, and she's a damn good cook. <laughs> <laughs> so put your hands together for my baby, Lee. Thank you, Tom. So <laughs> Um, welcome everybody and thank you very much for joining our launch Zoom this evening. I was hoping to see more numbers there, but I see there's people cooking still, people on other Zoom calls. Lots of my friends are currently still working. Um, I'm here for a, a friend of mine. He's sitting down here also on Zoom calls with American clients. So yeah, hopefully I can help them also free up their time the way that we would like to free up our time. Um, thanks, Lee, for the lack of introduction. Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> um, even if I prepare something, I will anyways have bubbles. Um, but yeah, I love the, the health side to this business and everyone is very passionate about it. And we have started using the products as we're supposed to. Um, you know, we've been receiving all the products. All 100% organic, natural, and I feel like the people that need it the most is everybody. Everybody can um, benefit from being healthy, and I just feel like if your if your mind is healthy, if your if your body is healthy, your mind is healthy, everyone will be happy. Um, so yeah, we're not really placed on this earth to to, to not help people. We are here to, to help everybody. Um, so yeah, well, hopefully we can. Um, work together, carry on um, changing people's lives. Um, yeah, that's me. Thank you, Lee. Thank you so much. And we would just want to say all the best, um, you know, for your time in Basel Bay. We're all praying and thinking of you. Um, and then, Lee, I think, I think it will only be right if I just quickly share how I met you. And so, guys, this is a story I want to quickly tell you how I met Lee. Um, one of their businesses that Franco was talking about is a carpet cleaning business. And, um, you know, we, we had a, a guest that came over the weekend and I saw my carpets wasn't looking too fresh. And I had to urgently get somebody to clean my carpets. Um, I found a friend and somebody told me about their business and I got a hold of Lee. Didn't know her from a bar of soap. Lee came in. I was at work. I didn't even see this girl. I said, listen, my nanny is home. Please just clean the carpets. She was so efficient, her team. She sent me pics beforehand, pics afterwards. I couldn't believe the service I received. And um, she phoned me the Monday and she said to me, Hadri, I just want to make sure, are you happy with the service? Are you happy with the carpets? And I remembered, oh my hat, I had never paid her. And I felt so bad. And I said, oh gosh, Lee, send me your invoice. I for totally forgot to pay you. And she said, no, that's not a problem. I just wanted to make sure you're happy. And I said, no, I'm so happy with the carpets and your service is just amazing. And I said, Lee, so by the way, I know I don't know you, but you know what? If ever you're interested in an opportunity Opportunity. We've got a Zoom tonight. And, um, you know, if, if you're interested, I could send you the Zoom link and then, you know, maybe listen and maybe you're interested. And Lee said, oh, yeah, sure. Please send me the link. Um, you know, I would love to listen to it. And guys, the next morning, Lee phoned me and she said, hey, Dri, when can I come through and enroll? I was like, what? I don't even know her. She listened to one Zoom, prospect Zoom. And she said to me, when do I sign? And I looked at Bernard and I said, mm, one of those, but okay. I said, Lee, you, I'm at work. You know, you're more than welcome to pop in. And I promise you guys within 30 minutes, Lee was there in her gym clothes and I was still in shock. And I thought, 
okay, is it going to be this easy? And guys, Lee joined that day. And I tell you, this is a go-getter. Lee, I am so happy to have met you. You are the most amazing person. And um, I just love walking this journey with you. And I'm so grateful that you came to clean my carpets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Here we go. Over to you. Will you be introducing our next awesome person? Sure. It's my honor to introduce this woman to you. Um, she's she's a dear friend of mine she is she balances my life on so many <laughs> levels but i want to tell you who's sitting next to me tammy multi melky zadek is a well-known public figure here in the usa she's the author of eight books right or is it nine wow. <laughs> doesn't matter <laughs> She's writing so many books, I, I've not read all of them, but she's an amazing writer. She's an Emmy winner. Um, she worked with people like John Maxwell. This woman is mm. tiny. She meets me at my shoulders. <laughs> she's short, in other words. <laughs> she's short, but she is dynamite. Oh. I call her my secret weapon. Oh. If you mess with me, I call Tammy. Oh. But, I don't know about that. It's true. But Tam is a leader. She's extremely successful in this business. She's done this business for a number of years. She had the fastest growing team worldwide with Limu. She's having the fastest growers team worldwide at the moment. Right? That's right. And Absolutely. She, she is the passion and the driving force. And Jimmy calls her Mama Africa. And I want to get, ask you to give it up. Show me with your hands and give a warm, warm welcome to the woman who is making all of this happen with all of us day and night mm. tammy multi melchizedek thank you erica yay oh my goodness it's so awesome actually i just have to correct one thing you are what's making it happen not me <laughs> and i also want to encourage you that we do this together that this is a team business and it's beautiful uh, wherever you are in your life wherever you find yourself that you are on this zoom you are at the perfect place at the perfect time. The timing is now. And um, so I just wanna share very quickly my two minute story and then how this opportunity can be transformational for your life, not just informational. We've heard a lot of great information. I think you're about ready to experience a true transformation. Um, my husband and I had had some success in real estate and I was in media and publishing for many, many years. And 2008 happened. If you were around in 2008, I don't know how it really affected Africa, but I do know here in the United States, it was a massive real estate crash and people that had invested a lot of money um, in real estate. My husband was a retired Colonel in the Air Force. He taught at the Air Force Academy, had a full um, wonderful career and then went into real estate. So all of our investments were in real estate. And so in 2008, when uh, the real estate market crashed um, because all of our investments except for 10 percent of what we had was invested in real estate and after years and years of working very very hard uh, we lost all of our investments and i'll tell you uh it's one thing to lose things in your 30s and in your 40s but i was in my 50s and it was extremely challenging and so we looked for an opportunity of how we could recreate um, interest in, in, in investment interest and make residual income. Well, I read a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And if you haven't read it, write it down and put it on your to-do list this year and the business of the 21st century. Those two books were truly transformational to me because they introduced me into the whole concept of residual income, creating income, doing the work once and being paid over a period of years for the work that you did one time. And that sounded pretty good to me. <laughs> and so I thought, wow, I wonder if I could do this. Um, but I didn't really know of a company. I was not really familiar with direct sales network marketing. It wasn't my background. 
And so when I went to go look for work in television and radio and publishing, which I had always been in, I knew I could create an income, but I could never create the income I needed to pay off our debt for losing our companies and our uh, just so many different things. Those were hard years, very, very hard years. And maybe today you can identify that with that. Um, and maybe today you find yourself 2021 uh, coming through 2020. That this was a last, this last year was a rough year and it was a lot, a very rough year for a lot of people. So if that was your year, you're in a good place. You're in a right place at a right time. And you're linked arms with people who understand and have compassion and also vision to take you beyond where you are right now. So a really good friend of mine who I'd written a book with, he ran a nonprofit for Russian orphans. I have a Russian adopted daughter. So we had a passion for uh, that. And he said, Tammy, I think you just need to take a look at this company. And so because I trusted Tom Davis, and that's a lot of this business. It's the people that uh, bring us into this business. We trust them. And we are people that run with integrity. And we want to be there for our people and what we say we will do. And certainly that was Tom. And we jumped into this business. And um, within a two year period of time, uh, my team, not me, my team uh, took us to the fastest growing team in the world for our company, Limu. And within two years, we were able to pay off um, large sums of debt that we had lost uh, because we never, we paid back every penny we had um, and every penny we owed and only, you know, to God be the glory for that. And I say that very humbly to tell you that this opportunity is not just to get you grocery money although it can be that. This opportunity is to be transformational for you today, tomorrow, for your children and my seven grandsons that I have. My objective is that this opportunity is so massive. It has such long reaching repercussions for the generations yet to come. If you understand what you have your hands on in this company, it will change your life, truly. It will change the trajectory of where you are going and how your family and the people you love and the ministries you care about and the community that you love and the country of Africa that you are so proud of, that you so deeply love and treasure. This will change everything. This is a game changer. Now, let me back up and tell you why. Very simply, we have come into Africa about six months ago. So Limu, my company, was purchased by a company called RX. RX was purchased by a company called New Age. We are called New Age by RX. So we became one of the house of brands. We have multiple brands, all health and wellness in our, uh, in our portfolio. And so we were brought into this beautiful organization called RX. Several months ago, we were purchased by New Age, which, was, which is a publicly held company on the NASDAQ. Do you know how massive that is? That our company is a publicly held, publicly traded. You get to buy stock in your own company. You get to have an investment in your own company. There are so many features to it, which we cannot go into today, but ways you can get stock, ways you can purchase. It's just, it's mind boggling. And so today, where do we find ourselves? So new, we've been running our business pre-launched with RX in South Africa and Namibia. We've been running in both those countries. What is about to happen is the great transfer. RX here, the company that we've been running with is now going to merge fully with New Age. New Age has been in Africa. New Age has a presence in Africa. Craig DeBrain is from South Africa. He has a heart and passion for the African people. He is taking this to Africa, not just the cone of Africa. Please understand, yes, we are talking about the cone of Africa right now, but we are moving into Nigeria. We are moving into Northern Africa. We are moving into West Africa. This company, which is, uh, which is projected very soon to be a $1 billion company in nine years, debt-free, profitable. It's expected to be a $3 billion company within the ne next 24 months. How is that going to happen? I suggest to you, Africa, 
It is going to happen in your country. Some of the most exciting things that they are bringing to um, New Age Rx right now are starting in yeah. Africa. The initiatives, the systems, the structures, they're not being launched in America. They're being launched in Africa. That's where you're at right now today. Please understand, we are launching a massive movement. And Erica is right. It is a revolution. I would say it's a revolution of freedom for the average family to have a better way, to have a better hope for their family, for their community, for their future, their children and grandchildren. And so what is happening very, very soon is we are going to fully launch in South Africa, meaning we will have products made for the African people by the African people that will be in Africa. We're not shipping them from all over the world. That, mean, that means your, uh, your shipping is gonna be significantly less. That means the products that you love, the products that are known, are going to be right there in your backyard and you are going to at a price point that the average African family can afford. You cannot know how much research has gone into this, but I will tell you it is a lot. And what is going to happen very soon if you lock in your spot and let me just say this one thing, what does lock in your spot mean? Right now there is a promotion going on with our company this is incredible. It's never happened in any of the 80 countries we've ever been in. Please understand this. This is coming only to Africa. You have an opportunity to lock your spot in an organizational tree, so to speak, of someone that's bringing you into this organization. And they can get back with you and explain to you what that looks like. But you lock your spot in their organization by a boss, basically a business operating system which you used to have to pay for, but until the end of January, it's free, zero, free, is all you do is get your information in, lock in your spot into that organizational tree. And then when the new packs with SA come out, the new packs for South Africa, for all the countries, you can get your pack and you can start running your business full force. That is huge. I want you to think of it as locking in a piece of real estate. That's how you need to see it, that you are locking in the opportunity to be in place in a position where it's transformational for you. But that's enough from me because that's my heart. I could talk about this all day long because it just revs me up because I am living proof, ladies and gentlemen that this business works. I am living proof that what we are about to see with Africa is just, oh, it's gonna change all of our lives. But I wanna introduce you to an incredible man, Mr. Brent Palmer. I, he is my business partner. Brent Palmer is one of the top income earners in the world, in the world. And this guy, you have a little beautiful South, uh, South African accent. Well, he has a sort of a, South USA accent. <laughs> hey, it's from Alabama. And so, I, and so I have been wonderful business partners with Brent for over seven years. He is a man that runs with impeccable integrity. I would run into a war with this man because one, I trust him and two, he'll win and he will win and we will win because we are with him. Brent, welcome to our Zoom. I want you to share a few words of vision. I also want you to tell people where you are, Brent Palmer. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm actually in Utah and I'm in our corporate, uh, our corporate worldwide headquarters that we kind of service um, all around the world. I don't know if you can see behind me. Yes, we can. This is manufacturing going on currently as we speak. Conveyor belts, our vitamins are being manufactured here. Um, and I could just go on and on. But behind the doors here, I'm actually, I just stepped out. I'm in a meeting with all of the owners of New Age. And so, and trust me, Africa, Africa is a definite, definite, spot of merit for the company for the global structure for what we're going to do in the future 
and I just want you to know that what you're listening to today, what you've listened from amazing leaders like Tammy and Erica and Hydri and the team and, and um, is you've got a company in New Age that is doing something completely disruptive and different. We're not going to be a company like Africa has seen in the past in our industry. We are setting the bar and the accountability for ourselves to be way higher so that the people of Africa see a company that they've never seen before in our industry because there's been a lot of companies in our industry that's come to Africa and they brought products that are not wanted or accepted in other parts of the world. And they've given them to grow a business in Africa. And we recognize that. So first we recognize that we're going to bring products and we're going to bring a price point that is for the people of Africa, by the people of Africa, that also hits the palate point. And so it's very strategic what is going on right now. And although you sit here and go possibly, well, I wished it was here. I wish we were a part of it. I wish we had it. Trust me, you want us to take our time to get what is coming to you, to get the Tesla so that you can launch the Tesla in the world, in your world. So what to do right now? Join us. Join us. Don't let this go look at Bitcoins today. And look at it five years ago, if you would have got involved. Go look at Apple 20 years ago and look at it today. What would have happened if you'd have got involved? You've got a company that's going to disrupt an industry. And Africa is going to be a market that they're going to explode. And they're going to do it in a disruptive way that the people of Africa can call their own. And it's going to be like no other company that's ever been in our industry in Africa. And I just want you to know that you're sitting on a spot, those one of those special moments in time that you can go, man, this is something that's not only going to affect my kids, but my grandkids and that legacy, that chance, that opportunity for a legacy. And to think of the price point and where it's at, to be able to come in, to be able to lock your spot, to be able to join us. What will your five year down the road future self, how much will your future self thank you? Currently today, when you look up in five years and we're doing over a billion dollars in Africa and you were the pioneer, you were the people that created the movement. And I just want to share with you as a leader, I say this at the end of my calls with you, the company's not going to let you down. They're going to they're going to bring something very special to you and your people. The products that you receive and continue to receive and the additions to the portfolio are going to be of such high uh, uh, high integrity, high values. I'm going to show you as you look behind me. You can see some of the things going on behind me, but here's the thing, the leadership I am here today on behalf of you. I am here today taking time away from my family, taking time away from my beautiful kids that I love and adore because I want this to be something that's impactful for you and your family. And Tammy Motby wants the same, Erica wants the same. And I share that with you because over time of you being in, over time of you locking your spot, getting engaged, being a part of this, you're going to see people can speak words, but over, over time, those words had to come, had to turn into action. You earn respect. You don't just get it. You earn it our leaders will earn your respect you will see our action you will see that we 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 lead by the tongue in our shoes 
not the tongue in our mouth, not just by saying it, but actually walking the walk, not just talking the talk. And I am so excited to be bringing this to you, to your country, to your countries. It is going to be a special time. It is a special time. Right now, you have to step out on faith. Right now, you have to say, I'm willing to do this, but I don't see the entire staircase. But I'm going to believe in the leaders that I see here today. I promise you this, we will not let you down. We have your back. We are in the trenches with you. We're forging the path with you. That's why I'm here at corporate. And we will continue to forge that path. It will, but I promise you this, it will be all worth it. All worth it. So thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Hydrian. And for, for the time today, thank you for, for, for allowing me to just share a few words. Please join us. Your future self will thank you for this opportunity right here. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Brent, thank you so, so much. And I promise you, you have already, you have our trust. You, you are just amazing. And, um, you know, thank you so much for, for the information you've shared with us today. And thank you for do all the trouble you do for us in Africa. Um, you know, I know that you go far and beyond what you're supposed to do. And we really see that, we appreciate that. And we really honestly appreciate you for everything you do for us and for always being available, for always being there. Tammy, Erica, you are so right. We will run this race and we will go to any war with the three of you on our side. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brent. Really appreciate you. Um, have a good trip. Bye-bye. Guys, um, yes, I think this is the end. You guys can all unmute or we will unmute all of you. Um, and everybody can just say goodbye and have a good evening. We will, we will.